land parties nowadays can seem like a bit of a lost art, but for us, for me, for this channel, we like to see them, we like to make them happen, and we like to keep that art going. But if seeing videos on land parties and looking at events like DreamHack and things like that gives you an idea to do a land party in your own home, well, just be careful of a few things and just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Number one most important thing to consider is power. So many times that we didn't really configure the power in my home correctly, like wall drops and how many computers are on a single drop or on a single wall or along the same circuit, that we ended up popping a circuit and many people's computers would turn off. You never want that to happen. So it's helpful to understand that in the space that you're working in, in the space that you're going to be land partying in, that you know which ports on the wall are in which circuits. If they're all on the same circuit, you can't put all the computers on there. I'd say that one circuit could probably take, one like typical household circuit, uh, could probably take, I don't know, maybe three computers, three or four full desktops at full tilt. Might even be too much for that, but I would say about there would be okay. So having a look at your circuit breaker or even just going around and seeing like with maybe a lamp plugged into a light socket, seeing which ones work for which circuits while you're messing with the circuit breaker, turning them off and on where they need to make sure you unplug any important or sensitive electronics when you do this could help you map that out. If you want to have two to three computers per plug on, on the wall and those plugs are all on different circuits, that would be the most ideal situation. And that might result in you running uh, extension cords all the way over from a different side of the house in order to accomplish that. And that's fine. Obviously, that doesn't really apply if most people are bringing laptops, which is something that we saw happen in our LAN party, or today's LAN party. Now, another really important thing is making sure you have internet and network access for everybody. And one thing I did is I bought a 16 port switch, which I found pretty cheap back in the day at 16 ports. And then I could just run one long ethernet cable from my main router that gets uh, my Wi-Fi and internet from another room over to the switch. And then everybody plugs into that switch. That's plenty of, of ports most of the time, at least, especially for household LAN parties. But everybody plugs into that and then everybody has gigabit internet, well, not gigabit internet, but a gigabit network connection. Your internet speed will obviously vary. Wire connection is best, especially if you're concerned about latency, right? And beyond that, snacks, drinks, food. It is huge. <laughs> make it a good time and enjoy yourselves. That's what we like to do and that's what we're all about. We're here for the Memorial Day LAN party, Coalition Gaming here. And something's different about this LAN party versus all the LAN parties in the past. The, the laptops far outnumber the desktops. This is probably the most efficient LAN party that we've had, but we Take got me. a laptop. Got, we got a laptop with a 2070 Super in it. Uh, 20, what's yours again, 2070 as well? 2070. 2070, 2060, 2060 over there on that setup, that's mine, but mine's a little different. I got dual screen action, because uh, I'm going for like full setup, even though it's just a laptop still. <laughs> well, we're gonna, we have Wayne's, the guy in the camera. His is it with the 1060. You know, it'll still hang in there. And then we got Matt's, the beast with the 3080 on his laptop with the Lenovo Legions that you've been seeing all over YouTube. There's my mini rig over there that, while not a laptop, has a laptop processor. The big old screen setups with the laptops, that's, <laughs> this is the way to go, I think, for LAN party stuff, especially if you're gonna like DreamHack and things like that. Snid on an older laptop that's got an i7-3610QM processor, but with like an NVIDIA 980M, I think, graphics card and an old mouse pad because he forgot his and I just threw something at him. And then this is from the channel from before. This is the computer that I built for my niece and nephew who are right there. And uh, 980 Ti with the 4790K beast still playing everything great. This is the biggest turnout we've had in a long time in our LAN parties, as well as the most computers we've had on, a, on these freaking tables. Oh, really? Hey. Check me out, guys. Zalman, Zalman. come follow me. Honestly, I love to see all the variation in hardware that shows up. That's one of my favorite things about LAN parties and events like this in general, is you get to see all the different rigs and configurations and specs and hardware and laptops and desktops as you'd want to see, which is awesome. <laughs> LAN parties are also a good opportunity to give away some fun stuff or to get prizes for the attendees and things like that.
And so that wraps up our Memorial Day land party of 2022. It's good to have everybody back. It's good to be partying up, gaming it up, and having a good time with my friends. For those of you that were there, thank you for coming. For those of you that are watching, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of our videos. Also, I stream to Twitch on twitch.tv slash coalition gaming crew. So feel free to stop by, drop a follow, and let's ta talk some land parties, yeah? We got way more land party videos linked right over there. Whole playlist of land party content, actually. Even a, a video specifically on how to do land parties. It's one of our older ones, but it's done well. And uh, the information still holds up. All linked right over there.